Handicap spaces are about accessibility, not convenience. Many years ago my daughter has been fussy all day long. My wife was ready to pull her own hair out, therefore, I took my daughter with me to the store. She was very young, and pretty, with the cutest little purple wheelchair secondary to spina bifida. We get to the store, unload her wheelchair from the Chevy Suburban, she climbs down into said chair, and off we go. After shopping is done, we're back at the Suburban reversing the process to load her up and stow the chair. As I'm loading said chair, dude pulls up next to me in a new Corvette still with paper tags on it. Convertible, containing dude and his trophy, a uh, significant other. I casually mention that he's pulled into a row of handicap space without a handicap tag or placard. He says yeah, I know, and saunters off to shop with his SO. Well I'm a little pissed at this moment, but don't want to do damage to such a beautiful car. Then, an evil thought enters my brain. I go to the cart storage, just in front of where we're parked. I put carts in a loose formation around his car. Security guard comes out, but just watches. An off-duty city cop also comes out, and also just watches. I proceed to put several layers of carts, tightly packed together, 360 degrees around his car. I approach the guard and city cop, and explain that dude was using handicap space for convenience, not due to an accessibility problem. I point out that no carts are touching his car, so no damage, but that he sure as hell has an accessibility problem now they both crack up laughing at this point. The cop says that he hopes the guy complains, because he'll write a ticket to the dude. I laugh quite a bit over this, and quite frankly, still do every now and then. ETA to answer a common question as to why the cop wouldn't just write a ticket straight away, he couldn't. In Texas, at the time, on private property they couldn't write one unless the property owner manager called, or the person otherwise engaged with the officer. He was hoping the guy came to complain so the cop could then engage with dude, then write a ticket. Nice. I worked at a skilled nursing facility and our maintenance guy would park his very nice Mercedes in the handicap spot every day actually only 2-3 in the spot 1-3 blocking the walkway. No handicap placard or plates. Just a prick that didn't want his nice car to get damaged. I finally got fed up and reported him to the handicap parking violation department of my city's law enforcement. I anonymously reported him every day for a week, with pictures. My co-workers were delighted when he got a ticket and he never parked there again. The best part of this is the actual inconvenience. Just getting a ticket will remind the jerk that some crimes are legal for people with money. Ha 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 my uncle was paralyzed from the waist down RIP, he's no longer with us, but he was amazing and used hand controls to drive. When he caught people parking in handicap spaces, he would park behind them, blocking them in only if it didn't impede traffic when the entitled parker would return and start throwing a fit my uncle would be all what are you gonna do about it. Call the cops. And then very slowly get out and go about his business doing whatever he was doing at that location grocery shopping usually I feel like you would have been buddies. Why wouldn't the cop just write the ticket anyways? He's already there, either way, bravo to you sir. A hero we don't deserve, but need. I've been blessed with not needing accessibility like that but my husband had a foot surgery so they gave us one since he could still drive but walking long distances was not happening. That's when we really noticed how many people use those spaces and have no indication they need that kind of space. Made me really think about how hard navigating life is for people who already have need of accessibility. This is why I carry zip ties in my car. If someone doesn't have a tag placket I will zip tie a shopping cart to the car door handle. The cops here don't care or do anything. I recently encountered a pair of motorcycles in the accessible spot and wish I had had this kind of brilliance close at hand. My husband and I did that one time. Watched a woman fly through parking lot, almost hitting a pedestrian and proceeded to park her precious sports car across three spaces. It was fun and thoroughly enjoyed watching her huff around moving all the carts so she could leave. Stupidity is not a disability white smiling face hash. My favorite sign in front of a disability parking spot in South Africa haha. I've seen two signs. 
if you want my space, take my disability too. This place is reserved for people with disabilities, or for idiots with no scruples. Where I used to work, there were two HC spaces, well marked with signage that fines would be imposed if you parked there without the right plates or placard. No cop would stand by and just say H hopes they complain. A ticket would be written immediately, even if the driver came along to leave. The fine? $270 ouch. I have a friend who has a disabled child. One day she went to pick him up and she had the disabled placard on the window. This woman came up to her, looking like she was going to yell at her for using the convenient space. My dear friend was at her wit's end that day, and in no space to tell a stranger her whole story so she just climbed out, and started walking, while dragging her leg, just to avoid the conversation. She said the woman looked super embarrassed. Luckily, the angry woman wasn't there when my friend got back with her kid. We have parent and toddler spaces in UK which give extra room like disabled spaces do. These spaces get abused often. When my kids were toddlers and we enjoyed the benefit of these spaces when there was one free, I always enjoyed shouting in panic at the abuser of the space you've left your kid in the shop as they would drive out the space childless for some reason they always looked horrified like they had actually left a kid behind shrug hashtag hash. Maybe there are loads of abandoned toddlers in shops still waiting to be collected. My son is in a chair. I literally shame people into moving. That kind of obnoxious, ignorant behavior boils my blood, and I have no mobility issues myself. They always say it's just for a couple of minutes but that is BS. The sense of entitlement puts me in a rage. I've confronted several people doing that, including taking pics of their dash showing no accessibility permit and their license plate. I'm diabetic, but not considered handicapped. Still, some days, I hurt. A lot. I would still never take a handicapped space. To me, others need it, but I'll be okay. Every time I hear about someone doing this, it's an able-bodied asshole. Oh I hope he complained to the cop. May that D-bag forever get stuck with shopping carts with sticky wheels. Perfect well done. My father has a handicap parking permit for back injuries but when he walks like normal people assume he's an idiot and doesn't understand what the park is for. It's tough because why should he have to explain his invisible disability just because someone else thinks they know better, every single time he goes to the shops. I hope he didn't have a disability that you all weren't aware of. I'm handicapped and I have van with automatic lift, so I push a button and my doors open and my lift comes down and is ready for me before I get to the van. One day unbeknownst to me a car parked in the line area and I hit the deploy the ramp and the ramp came down and scraped this car rear door and broke the back window. I didn't realize the power that lift had and the damage it can cause, so my wife got in and backed the van up, I got in and drove away, I hope that guy learn his lesson not to park in the line area that's there for ramp access or he's going to have a lot of damaged cars. To further answer the common question, how long ago was this? I was a Texas police officer starting about 25 years ago. No handicap placard or plate and I could have slapped that ticket on the car in a heartbeat. Private property makes no difference if it's an area open to the public and the spaces are properly marked. There is the parking mobility app that helps you export these people when you see them. So the security guard as an agent of the property owner couldn't request the cop to ticket the privileged person. This reminds me of the video I just saw of Kendall J and Haley B parking in handicapped spots to avoid paparazzi. Stupid AF. I have a question. I know someone who had their knee replaced two years ago and still uses the placard. His other knee is fine. The replaced knee seems fine. Is that legit? My dad works the handicap parking gate at high school football games. The number of people without placards that try to get in there so they can be closer is ridiculous. Then there's the guy on his motorcycle with his placard on a lanyard around his neck so they have to let him in. Not all heroes wear capes.